Hey guys, Venthro is coming back at you. This is tutorial number 3.5, and the only reason there's a point five at the end of tutorial three is because I forgot to show you something very important. Um, you might remember if you watched my last tutorial when we stayed at the inn, um, I was able to stay at the inn because I had 50 gold. Well, if you're trying it, you're probably going to realize that you don't have 50 gold, and I forgot to show you how I started with 50 gold. So um, this is going to be very quick, hopefully. Um, showing you guys how to set up an event that gives your character 50 starting gold okay so this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna pick this square in the upper left hand corner I would pick one that's out of the way so it doesn't interfere with anything I mean that's up to you you can put it wherever you want uh, new event right so by default we got EV003 let's rename it to starting gold very cool okay so the second thing before we get into the contents okay we need to know how this event is triggered okay there's a couple different ways to trigger an event most of them are going to be by the action button if you want to talk to somebody you set up an event and when you press the action button the character uh, that you're talking to says something to you and that is a trigger with the action button we don't want that because we don't want to have to walk up to the upper left hand corner of the screen to get the 50 gold we want it to happen automatically so there's a couple different things player touch uh, that occurs when you simply walk on a tile or touch a tile that has the event in it we don't want that either because the event is way up in the upper left hand corner and we want it to happen automatically event touch similar kind of situation we don't want that so you have auto run and parallel process okay um, each one of these will work, but we're going to do parallel process because we want it to happen while we're moving around. We don't want it to interrupt anything. So we're going to click parallel process. This is when you want something to occur while you're participating in the game. Okay, happen at the same time or whatever. Okay, now we got that fixed. Okay, we're going to go over here to the contents. Okay, uh, just double click here and here are all your different event commands They're broken up into three pages okay we're gonna to go to page one where it says party here we're gonna change gold you can either increase or decrease obviously we want to increase we're gonna type in 50 because we want it to be a constant value of 50 we don't want it to be a variable where it could give you 50 it could give you another value we just want it to be 50 hit OK you can see that the contents of the event are change gold plus 50 and it's going to happen as a parallel process when we're in the map. So when we get to that screen, it's going to give us 50 gold. Let's try it. Save changes. Yes. All right. So let's check our menu. You can see that we got 4,300 gold. That's no good, right? And as time goes on, it's going to keep happening. <laughs> Every second we're getting 50 gold. That's what we don't want. We don't want that, okay? Because I could leave it for 10 minutes. And the next thing you know, we got 22,900 gold. That is not good. That's not what we want. So um, I intentionally forgot a step just to kind of show you why we want to do it. Okay? We only want to get this 50 gold one time, right? We only want it to happen once. All right. We only want it to happen once. So what we're going to do is we're going to use something called a switch. So a switch basically uh, it can be a little daunting at first, but basically we're going to set a switch that pretty much tells the game, "Hey, look, we already got the 50 gold once and we only want to get it once. We don't want the player to get it again." Well, how do you do that? Oh, good. Glad you uh, glad you asked. Double click here. We're going to start. We're going to give it a new command. Okay. In the game progression section, you're going to see control switches. And that's what we want. So click that. Okay. So I already made a switch that's called initial gold. Okay. You can name it whatever you want. It doesn't have to be initial gold. It can just you can just leave it switch one. I recommend you name them so that uh, you know you don't get confused. 
but um, you know, let's uh, let's name it initial gold. And we want the operation to turn the switch on after we get the 50 gold. Okay, so hit OK. So now what's going to happen is the event is going to give you 50 gold. Then the control switch initial gold is going to turn on. Well, what does that mean exactly? Well, right now it doesn't mean anything. What you have to do is create a new event page. So come up here and click new event page. The contents we're going to leave blank. Okay. That basically is saying when this initial gold switch is on, we want nothing to happen, which tells the game to stop giving you 50 gold. Once you get it once, the switch is going to make it so that you stop getting gold. Well, how do you t how does the game know that the switch is on? Well, when on the second page, on the conditions area, you are going to check off that this switch and it's automatically going to go to the first switch, which is initial gold. So right now the initial gold switch is not on and you can see it up here we didn't check it so the initial gold switch is not on we get the 50 gold the initial gold switch is then turned on which leads us to the second page where the switch initial gold is on and then we want nothing to happen that's the key nothing happens here so we should let's hit apply okay now we should only get the 50 gold once let's try it All right, so we're moving around. Hit escape. There's our 50 gold in the lower left-hand corner. See it? 50 gold. Let's give it some time here to see if uh, it, we keep getting 50 gold. And as you can see, the 50 gold is still there. We're only going to get the 50 gold one time, and that is your first taste of uh, a slightly more complicated event than you're used to. It's a little more complicated than making doors, um, but hopefully it gives you an idea how you can uh, set up events that increase and decrease gold and how often you want that to occur. So, hopefully uh, now you can try, you can uh, go into Townville and test out your inn and make sure that your inn event is working properly, which I am pretty sure it will. So, Anyway, thanks. Uh, sorry I didn't show you that in the first time. Uh, I, I, I think I did it to save time, but I ended up having to spend a little more time to explain that to you. So hopefully you can test your inn. Um, we're going to need money. to. T we're going to be making some shops and a few uh, tutorials from now. So we're going to need some money to play around with. Anyway, I'm Venthros. Like, com like, comment, subscribe down below. Thanks again for watching. See ya.